Dear all, Namaste. In this video, I shall be discussing about different midline neck swellings. This is also a very commonly asked question in the final university examination in ENT as well as surgery. The midline swellings can be classified as ubiquitous swellings. That means the swellings which are found all over our body or true midline neck swellings. Let's move to ubiquitous swellings. They are CBSS cyst. It can be found everywhere starting from the lower lip to the suprasternal nose. Likewise, lipoma, neurofibroma, hemangioma, dermoid cyst, teratoma, and thyroid cyst can be found anywhere in the midline neck starting from the lower lips to the suprasternal nose. They have certain characteristic features which can differentiate them from other tumors. True midline neck swellings may be lymph nodes which are most common. They may be submental, just below the mentum, delphian, pretracheal or prelaryngeal and suprasternal neck nodes in the midline. Next is Ludwig's angina. Ludwig's angina starts with one side, either right or left, but as the disease progresses, this comes to the midline and crosses the midline also. On examination, there will be dewy feel in the submental and submandible regions. There may be history of dental caries or dental trauma. Next is sublingual dermoid, which is usually a congenital lesion. May be there for a long time and sometimes plunging ramblers may plunge from the floor of mouth to the midline neck also, although it usually is a lateral swelling. Next is thyroglossal duct cyst, which is very commonly asked question in the final university examination. The typical picture of thyroglossal duct cyst is it's a midline neck swelling, maybe from submentum to the thyroid cartilage, and it's a cystic swelling which moves on deglutition and protrusion of tongue. This is attached to the hyoid bone and tongue base. Therefore, it moves on deglutition and protrusion of tongue. Any midline swelling that moves on protrusion of tongue and swallowing is suspected to be thyroglossal duct cyst, which is common congenital lesion that presents in the young adulthood. Subhyoid bursitis, bursa below the hyoid is called as subhyoid bursitis. This is one of the uncommon swelling in the midline neck. Swelling of the thyroid isthmus and pyramidal lobe may occasionally present on the midline. This swelling moves on deglutition but not on protrusion of the tongue. As you know, the thyroid swelling moves on deglutition. Sometimes laryngeal tumors also may occur in the midline when they erode the thyroid cartilage but there is very rare presentation and sternal and thymic tumors occasionally may present in the midline neck. Please watch next video on lateral neck swellings. If you find my channel useful, please subscribe and like. Thank you. Thank you very much.